Most people have heard of diabetes, but do you really know what it is or how it affects the body? Hello everyone, you can call me Dr. Sugar. I have spent my life and career as a diabetes doctor and someone who has lived with diabetes for 40 years. In this short video series, I am going to give you the basics of diabetes talk that I give to every one of my patients so you can have a better understanding of what diabetes is and the things we can do to effectively manage it. So. What is diabetes? There are two main types of diabetes. The first is type 1, when the body does not make any insulin at all. The other is type 2, when the pancreas does not make enough insulin or use insulin well enough. This is a problem because insulin is the primary way that the body regulates sugar. If you don't produce insulin, or that insulin doesn't work well, then the body cannot properly balance sugar and a lot can go wrong. Diabetes is not a new disease. In ancient times, if you were thirsty, tired, peeing a lot, and losing weight, a doctor would say, go outside and take a pee. If ants, animals, insects went to where you peed at, they knew that there was sugar in your pee. And as we know, if you're peeing sugar, something's not right. Diabetes mellitus roughly translates to sugar pee. So let's start with understanding the body. Our body is made of trillions of building blocks called cells. And it's important to understand that every single one of the cells inside of our body requires a non-stop supply of two things, oxygen and sugar. Without those, the cells will die. How can our body supply 30 trillion cells with oxygen and sugar non-stop all day, every day? Well, we have a freeway to deliver oxygen and sugar called blood vessels. And the cars on that freeway are called red blood cells. The red blood cells grab oxygen from our lungs and deliver it to all the cells of our body. Our stomach's job is to digest food, which gets absorbed in our stomach and small intestine and gets turned into glucose, another way to say sugar. This is where insulin comes in. Insulin is made by your pancreas and it acts as a bridge to move the sugars out of the blood and into the cells, a very important job. Without insulin, there is no way for sugar to get into the cells, which is bad for our cells. And the sugar gets backed up in our bloodstream, which is bad for our health. It's like traffic on the freeway. If you put lots of extra cars on the freeway for a long period of time, you're likely to have more accidents. And that is a basic view of what happens with diabetes related complications. If you get too much sugar in your vascular freeway for too long, it starts to create problems in our kidneys, heart, eyes, brain, and nerves. Unlike oxygen, which is on autopilot, we have a lot of influence over the sugar in our body through our lifestyle choices. You can break these choices down to three primary categories, food, activity, and medications. In this series, I will go into each of these topics in more detail so we can learn how they relate to better managing diabetes. I'm going to show you how you can literally see the effects of these choices with the Dexcom G7 CGM system. Dexcom G7 is an amazing little sensor that you place on the back of your arm. It continuously sends your glucose level to your smartphone or receiver. So, now that we know what diabetes is, we are going to learn how food choices, activity, and medications can influence the sugar in your body and help manage diabetes more effectively. 